Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. Once again I have some brand new Star Trek Online news. We finally got the information on the new 13th anniversary starship that will be given away for free. I'm very excited about this one actually because this is extremely unique. We have never quite had a ship like this and I did not think this was a route they would go. Yet they have. This is a V'ger based ship. That's right. They are taking the Terran storyline that we're currently going through, the V'ger storyline, and giving us a ship that follows in that storyline. Compile the universe. The compiler, Science Dreadnought is the grand prize of our 13th anniversary event. Not gonna play the video for copyright reasons, but you can check out Star Trek Online's YouTube channel to watch that video. I will watch it on my own as well. I guess we could watch it without audio. Let's just take a quick look at it. I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know what it's all about. Obviously, it's got the big front array from I guess V'ger, which is really interesting. It looks really cool, actually. I love the like electrical look to it, and the back of it is really unique. I mean, it does look very V'ger-like. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Honestly, you can tell that the artist put a lot of artwork into it. I like this top view because that's kind of like the V'ger, how V'ger looks. That's a very, yeah, it's just a really cool looking ship. And that's what's unique about this. It's just the look of it. It's like nothing else, right? It's very alien. Okay, so there you go. Star Trek Online's 13th anniversary celebration will soon be upon us. This year's grand prize for participating in the event will be a truly alien starship, the Compiler Science Dreadnought Tier 6. This fantastic starship is visually inspired by a mix between the visuals of the V'ger entity, as seen in the motion picture, as well as concept art from the same, along with a portion of custom designs created in Star Trek Online for fleshing out the technology and enemies associated with the other, as seen in the current story arc. Earning the ship will require completing the daily activities available as part of the anniversary event and gathering enough daily progress to fulfill the event's overall quota. Players may participate in any of the available summer activities to earn their daily progress once per day per account. Once you have earned sufficient daily progress, you can claim the starship for your entire account. So this is an account unlock. That's important. Just open the event reclaim store to claim a compiler dreadnought for each captain on your account. So every character you have can have this. And all you have to do is a very quick daily, every day, for like 20 days or whatever it is, to get this. Very awesome. I'm going to do it. I want this ship. Originally fabricated to serve as remote processors for the entity known as the Other, these incomparable vessels have been reconstructed by the V'ger entity as means to aid in the safekeeping of our known galaxy. These inscrutable entities went to great lengths to provide starships that simple corporeal life forms can operate in a similar manner to other modern starships. But with a few additional strange pieces of technology built into their subsystem, it is unknown if we have unlocked their full potential or if there is more to learn from the entirely alien design. This ship comes with a Lieutenant Commander Science, a Temporal Operative Specialist Bridge Officer Seat, and a Lieutenant Universal slash Temporal Operative Specialist Bridge Officer Seat. Tier 6, any faction can use it, must complete tutorial. Hull modifier is 1.425, that's a very high hull modifier. This is a tough science ship. Shield modifier 1.25, not the highest shield modifier, but it is pretty high, so again, science ships usually have high shield modifiers, so that's good. Four forward weapons and three aft. Now that's special because a lot of science ships only have three forward weapons. This is four. Device slots three. 
uh, bridge officer stations, lieutenant commander, ensign engineering, lieutenant commander science slash temporal operative, commander science, lieutenant universal slash temporal operative, three tac, th excuse me, three tactical, three engineering, five science. So that's neat how it's kind of sp evenly spread out between tactical and engineering, but then five science obviously a science ship. Base turn rate of six, inertia 50, plus 10 to shield, plus 10 to aux. Console universal volatile digitation, digi digitization matrix, say that five times fast. Can equip dual cannons. Hangar bays, oh, it has a hangar bay. So it's a science ship with a hangar bay. Hangar bay pre-equipped with a digital constructed drone. Sensor analysis, subsister targeting, secondary deflectors, mastery package science, which is enhanced particle generators, advanced shield systems, enhanced restorative circuitry, reactive shield technology, and digital compilation starship trait. Also comes with an admiralty card. There is the volatile digitization matrix. Let's read about this. Digital transformation is not too dissimilar from transporter technology, but on a scale of refinement beyond modern imaginings. This process is capable of reading and digitally storing absolutely anything imaginable, including the subconscious thought process of intelligent biological and non-biological life forms, then recreating them in perfect detail. This particular adaptation of the technology serves as a weapon in starship combat by completely digitizing your starship and crew into volatile energy, which may be used to harm enemies before rebuilding all transformed matter exactly as it previously was. Uh, that sounds not like I want to do that. <laughs> if I was in this universe, I don't think I would want to do that. As a gift from V'ger and Ilea, this technology is capable of being installed in all modern starships. The console can provide a passive boost to power transfer rate, starship exotical, exotic power uh, particle generators, and maximum shield capacity. Lasts up to 20 seconds or until deactivated, transform self into a digitizer probe. Weapons and abilities are disabled, 400% flight speed and turn rate, plasma damage to foes within five kilometers. When transformation ends, additional massive plasma damage to foes within five kilometers after five seconds, creates four digitizer probes, which travel outward dealing plasma damage to foes within five kilometers each second. Digitizer probes detonate after 12 seconds, dealing additional massive plasma damage to foes within five kilometers, two minute recharge. So this feature sounds, it, it's like that old transporter idea where the transporter is completely destroying the original person and recreating an exact copy every single time. Technically, that's how Star Trek transporters work, I believe. So then you have the philosophical question, is the person created from that transporter beam still the same person? Philosophical, we're not gonna get into that right now. Completely philosophical. But that's what it sounds like here. It sounds like it's destroying the ship and everybody, but then uh, even on a subatomic level, recompiling everything exactly as it was. I don't think I want that happening to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't do that. And that's a weird kind of a weapon. Why would you have a weapon that completely deconstructs you and your ship, sends out damage, but then reconstructs everything? I don't like the idea of that but anyway it's just a game so I don't have to worry about that but that's what this weapon does I think it's kind of weird to be honest with you it's a weird weapon you know what I would have done instead I would have made like yeah I would have like used the digitization to like create a ball of like perfect plasma perfect plasma like hotter than the sun like create something like that that's that that it has digitized in the past maybe it digitized a star that's actually a good weapon it digitized a star in the past so you digitize a star you have the pattern to recreate that star create the power of a star you know and shoot that at somebody <laughs> that's what i would like 
that would be a cool weapon. All right, Starship Trait, digital compilation. Whenever an enemy of Frigate rank or higher is defeated after receiving exotic damage from you, they will be transformed into a digitizer probe, which will chase nearby enemies, dealing plasma damage to any that are near. You may have to dig you may have to f you may have up to five digitizer probes active at a single time. Enemies digitized by this trait will not warp core breach. So this, this is almost like the assimilation thing that the Borg thing can do. Um, the Borg, there's like a Borg weapon that will do this, and I may be a trait as well, that will assimilate ships and they fight on your side as friend. So this sounds like that. It basically digitizes them and then they are your friend now. So we've seen stuff like that with the uh, Borg assimilation stuff. So the game has that game mechanic and there it sounds like they're reusing that game mechanic here just with the you know uh, mask of the digital compilation digitizer. Hangar pets though. This has hangar pets, a science ship. These automated drones are large enough to be considered frigates by many modern starship standards and thus only support a maximum of a two being, being deployed per wing. So how many wings do you have? Two wings, maybe? So you have four? Digital construction drone hangar pets are unlocked by owning the Compiler Science Dreadnought and may not be equipped on it as w and may be equipped on it as well as any ship with two hangar bays. So yeah, two bays, two deployed at a time, four total. We've seen that on the Enterprise J. It has that same setup. All right, so availability, store, equip restrictions, Weapons, it uses digitizer plasma beam arrays, digitizer plasma dual beam bank, one heavy plasma digitizer probe, sub nucleonic pulse beam overload one, gravimetric conversion one, and digital impact only at low health. Uh, advanced ones, which you can get uh, up that a bit, and then elite up that even more. With the elite ones, you get Let's see, two times digitizer plasma beam arrays, one four, one aft, one digitizer plasma dual beam bank, one heavy plasma digitizer probe, subnucleonic pulse, beam overload three, gravimetric conversion three, and digital impact. So it goes from overload two, conversion two, to overload three, conversion three, if you get the elite. So it'll come with these, I guess, and you could get those or these, obviously f through the fleet store for the elite ones. I would like to have the elite ones and I will equip it with the elite ones. Uh, so it sounds like this ship is going to be using plasma weapon damage. So you will want to buff for plasma damage. So any character where you have uh, plasma damage buffed in space and you have uh, tactical consoles that buff plasma damage, that is sounds like what you're going to want for this ship plasma damage buff that will be the thing to go for and i'm trying to think do i have a ship that has that yes i have a borg build i have a character that has a uh, borg uh ship i forgot which one talshiar i think it's a talshiar borg ship um that character completely buffed for plasma because she uses plasma on ground and space she is plasmaed to the extreme because borg use plasma so I think this ship, it would be good for me to show off this ship on her because she is built for being a, well, but she's not a science character though. She's built for being a tank and engineering. She's built for being more of a tank and more for plasma, but she's not a science character. So she doesn't have all my science abilities. I guess since this is a science ship, I can put it on my science character, but he is built for anti-proton and chroniton, so I would have to get some plasma consoles and things. I don't have... I might have another plasma character, plasma science character, maybe my other character, Rassilon. I haven't been on that character in forever. It's a Romulan science character I have that is currently using Romulan ships, and I believe is using plasma. He might be the perfect candidate to show this ship off because he is science. 
He is using Romulan ships, so it's, he's got to be using plasma. He might be set up better for me to show this ship off with. Well, regardless, I will find out which character, and probably that one. And when I get this ship, when I finally get this ship, I will do a review of it on this channel. Stay tuned. If you would like to see that review, uh, subscribe to the channel. And that will be out when I get the ship. It will be like a month from now or more because I need to get the ship first and that's going to take a long time. Then I need to equip it and play with it and figure out everything. I may do a preview video, but uh, a review will take a little longer to do. But uh, if you'd like to see that, subscribe to the channel. Right off the bat, what I can say about this ship is I really love the attention to detail and artwork they excuse me, have put into this ship because... It is so unique and I love the darker tones. I love the darker colors. I love the blue and purple look to it. Um, I, I, that is a combination that really draws me in. Black with blue and purple, mm, chef's kiss. Awesome stuff. So that scheme, that color scheme draws me in on a visual level a lot to this ship. But then I look at the detail on it. I look at the skin and texture detail they have on this ship. I can see the bump mapping. I can see the specular lighting. I can see the, um, I can see everything they've done to it. And um, it's really cool. It looks really cool. So uh, kudos to the team for really putting together a unique ship, a uniquely alien ship that stands out in Star Trek Online. And well, I just have to see how it plays now. You know, how is it gonna feel in my hands? How is it gonna feel when I'm fighting, when I'm maneuvering, when I'm turning with the ship, when I'm, you know, flying around and trying to kill things with it. I'll probably go for a beam build on it and plasma, obviously. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I will be getting this ship when it comes out, doing a review. So if you'd like to see that, consider subscribing to the channel and you'll see that. If you like this video, consider giving it a like as well. It always helps. So thank you all for watching. Leave your comments below and let me know what you think of this ship. Thank you and stay tuned for the next one.